So, after Donald Trump won the election, and I woke up and realized that a lot of things that I had been told by the mainstream media was a lie, you know, I was pretty much furious. And what I did after he won was, one, I was very open-minded to him being president, and two, I wanted to block out the mainstream media and, you know, left-wing propaganda, and I locked myself in a right-wing echo chamber, and I've been in there ever since, you know. I subscribed to Fox News and Daily Wire, and I just started discovering, like, different forms of right-wing media, alternative media, you know, I discovered so many YouTube channels that I'm still subscribed to, and one thing that just kind of dawned on me the other day is, wow, everything that I'm hearing right now, I agree with everything, right? There's very few things that I see or news stories or, you know, anyone's opinion pretty much like in the news that I am subscribed to that I disagree with. And it made me realize that I have effectively done the opposite thing, you know? So now I'm in this right-wing echo chamber and I've completely blocked out left-wing stuff. And so what I've been made an effort to do the last couple days is subscribe to some things that I disagree with, you know, different media outlets. So uh, I subscribe to MSNBC. I know they're super left-wing, hardcore left-wing. CNN, of course, uh, the Young Turks. Just because I'm really curious, how far apart are we on issues? Right? How, how do we see things? Because it's almost like I know how crazy far left the left is, but how far left are they in terms of where we are? Right? Like, what's the gap? So, the past couple of days, I've just been browsing through videos, articles. You know, I subscribed to a few of the pages on Twitter, follow some pages on Twitter, and, and I've been focused on like headlines. Okay, like, what are they saying to pull people in? What are they focused on? What are people saying in the comments section of their videos and the threads on their uh, Twitter posts? And I got to be honest, we are extremely far apart, further apart than I imagined on, you know, the basic stuff, Uh, education, uh, gun reform, illegal immigration, race. You know, if you, if you only subscribe to Fox News, you don't really hear much about race because they're not focused on it. They're not focused on it as much unless they need to focus on it. What I noticed with Fox News and right-wing media outlets is they're focused on Donald Trump's success and, like, what his plans are. They're, like, forward-thinking. And then when I looked at MSNBC, for example, this morning, when I looked at them on uh, YouTube... A lot of their, like, I would say 10 of their top, like, 20 videos are all about, like, race stuff, race-related stuff, social issues, and then negative stuff about Trump, of course, which I expected, and they're focused on Donald Trump's personality, like, oh, he's obnoxious, you know, they pretty much insult Donald Trump, but they're not talking about his policies, they're not talking about his wins, they're not talking about what he could do to improve They're pretty much just playing to their audience. They really know their audience. The people that are tuned in are nutcases, for MSNBC anyway. I feel like CNN at least has the moderate viewer's eyeballs because they think of CNN as like centrist and neutral. When we all know that they're leftists, they just won't admit it. We all know they're liberal. MSNBC, they admit that they're liberal, like... There's no denying that they're liberal. They don't even try to hide it. Fox News, same thing with them being right wing. But with CNN, you know, they they have like that centrist um, viewer. But they're pretty much indoctrinating them with liberal ideas. And so MSNBC, they knowing their audience, they play up to that. But they're only really focused on social issues. So what that tells me is the differences between... Um, liberals and conservatives is conservatives are focused on policy, you know, things that affect their everyday lives, things that affect um, the country, things that 
protect our freedoms. And on the left, they're focused on racism, sexism, Trumpism, pretty much feelings. They're not folk, they're not dealing with facts. They're not dealing with anything that's like substantial, anything that can drive change. And also I noticed they really cherry pick things too. So I saw a video on, I think it was Mark Dice actually. And it was about how racism is exists with like in the police force. And there were two videos of people that had gotten pulled over and they claimed that the cop was racist. But when you see the dash cam, or not the dash cam, the, uh, the body cam that officers are wearing now, it's a totally different story. Like the video's not gonna lie. And the, the way that they're framing it is, you know, this cop pulled me over for no reason. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was only going five miles per hour over. Come to find out, the cop said she was going 15 miles over and she didn't want to sign her ticket. So those kinds of things are just signify how far apart we are. Now, don't get me wrong. There is absolutely racism in society. There are racist people in society, but there is no institution of racism in our society. Yet people think that there is. And if you watch MSNBC, you would absolutely think that this country is full of racism because that's pretty much all they talk about is racism. You know, they focus on these hyper local issues and they cherry pick those and make it seem like cops really are racist. But I saw a story down here in Tampa like a couple weeks ago where a white officer helped save a black like infant that had passed out was unconscious the cop had I don't know if the mom had called the police or flagged him down or something but she got the attention of the police officer she's like oh my god my, my baby can't breathe He's unconscious what can we do and the cop like took the baby put a baby in the car and drove the baby to the hospital and that made the news like because he's a hero the baby was okay and that's just something that because it doesn't fit the narrative, you would never see that on left-wing media because they only want to portray and play up that cops are racist and target minorities. And while that is true in certain cases, there are terrible cops out there, it's what you choose to focus on that dictates your reality. You know, if you are someone who's optimistic and you're someone who's forward thinking and you you know you you really look for the good you're going to see the good and you're going to attract things that are good it's like you're confirming your reality by your beliefs and so if you believe that racism isn't as big of a thing which i believe it's not as big of a thing as it used to be obviously it's not the 1960s it's not even the 1990s it was worse in the 1990s than it is right now you know, if you're someone like me, you don't really think racist. I don't think racism is a big deal. I really don't. I don't think white privilege is a thing. I don't think there's systemic racism. I just don't see that. I haven't attracted any of that. I haven't come across any, like, bigoted, racist people. You know? So, that just goes to show you that it really does have to do with what you believe. And then there's people, on the contrary, who... They believe racism is hiding around every corner, so they find it everywhere. Sam's Club, Chipotle, the movie theater, school, everywhere. And it's all it's really sad that we are this far apart on some of these issues because I really I really want to live in a country where we're unhyphenated Americans. We're not focused on our race, we're focused on our unity as citizens of the United States of America. We can acknowledge our obvious differences, you know, but I really want to live in a country where we're focused on the right thing, which is building a stronger country, being unified through our culture, you know, supporting our troops, you know, supporting our president, upholding our constitutional rights and just getting along, you know, like I, I really just don't see this racial divide that they are insisting on cramming down our throats every single day 
You know, I, I see blacks and whites getting along all the time, holding the door for each other at the gas station, joking around, being friendly, playing on the same softball teams. Their kids are playing together. Their kids are going to school together. Yes, there are pockets of discrimination and racism. However, if you are on the right, if you have a conservative, pragmatic, logical view on it, you're saying, okay, well, that's that's a terrible incident, but if you look at the broader spectrum, right, the broader spectrum is that's not happening everywhere. It's not a widespread issue. It's very localized. You see it that way, and that's a more positive way to look at things, right? But if you're on the left, you see that as a huge injustice. You're like, oh, we got to do something about this. This is widespread, right? This, this race thing that happened here at Starbucks is happening at every Starbucks. It's been happening at all the Starbucks. And then you get that like huge outrage. It's almost like hysteria that they're focused on because racism is a business as we know, as is everything else. You know, if it doesn't, uh, lead, if it doesn't, what do they say? I forget what the saying is, but we're like specifically with like shootings. If it doesn't bleed, it doesn't lead. So with mass shootings, you'll see or with any shootings, you're really only going to see mass shootings that make the headlines and they're focused on it every day, but they will never show a headline where a civilian successfully defends themselves with a firearm. So it's really all you have to focus on is positive versus negative. And I think right now what we're seeing, and maybe we, that's just, this has always been the case, is people on the left are focused on negativity. They're focused on negativity and they're attracting more negativity. What you focus on expands. People on the right are focused on positivity. Donald Trump is focused on positivity. He has an optimistic outlook on America. He talks about America first, built the wall, we're gonna make America great, our great troops, and just his entire talk track aligns with my core values because it's positive. And I notice positivity gets met with negativity. So you see that a lot too. But on the left, you know, they just, they don't get it. They just want to focus on negativity. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Like, share, subscribe. Catch you in the next video.